Hi guys, Ryu here with Naravit for Blender. In this one we're gonna be talking about Mesh Machine. Now Mesh Machine is one of the most important add-ons in terms of hard surface and it's one of my four core add-ons that I would recommend for anyone who's into hard surface in a, with Blender. Uh, I would say hard ops and box cutter, it's what I'm installing first, then it's machine tools and the last one is Mesh Machine. And these four add-ons are always in my loadout. So now if you would like to grab uh, either of these add-ons, there are links in the video description, so hop on Blender Market or Gumroad and grab them. Mesh Machine is a bit expensive, but uh, you know I think that you should get it if you're really serious about hard surface, uh, because it's just amazing. And speaking of hard ups and box cutter, if you would like to master these add-ons, we have a fantastic course, and I believe that's the only course on the market that actually covers them in such depth. And it's called Ultimate Guide to Hard Ups and Box Cutter. Check out the bundles as well, because we always bundle our courses with some interesting deals on which you can save a lot of money. And if you would really like to push your end hard surface workflow, we have a membership on our website called Blender Bros Coaching and Community. And you have access to, I think now, 13 courses or something like that immediately. Tons of decal packs and trim sheets, as well as the community, which is amazing, great people, and also 15% discount on upcoming courses. And speaking of upcoming courses, there is a fantastic course coming very soon. We are we are literally wrapping things up now. This course is gonna be amazing. Not just the modeling is gonna be way more advanced than the previous course. So we're gonna teach you how to create, you know an AA quality game asset, but also the workflow is going to be so universe and so flexible that you can apply it to any other game asset you wish. And there are going to be some really unique bonuses for pre-orders as well. Of course, it should be out very soon. All the links are in the video description, so check them out. Okay, let's get back into it. I remember questions, you know, like, is hard ops the same as Mesh Machine? Well, it isn't. Mesh Machine is completely different. There are certain tools like Mirror that are sort of overlapping, but they still are a bit different. So Mesh Machine is nothing like hard ops and vice versa. So you need both uh, for the, you know, for the full package. All right. So let me show you what's the fuss about. We're going to talk about all the functions. So once you've got Mesh Machine installed, you don't have to enable any special settings in preferences. It's plug and play basically. You you have access to Mesh Machine on end panel. If you have decal machine as well, you're gonna be on the top. So, but I'm usually accessing Mesh Machine through Y panel. So it's a Y menu, okay? So when I'm going to add a cube to my scene, let's just turn on screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to press Y, you will see that there is a menu. Okay, no many options here, you got plugs, stash it, etc. You know, quick patch, I'm gonna be talking about later. Uh, but um, when you go to edit mode, that's where the fun starts because that's where the main menu is. Okay, so we're gonna discuss all these options here one by one. So let's talk about fuse first. Okay, so fuse is really cool. If I'm going to grab a chamfer here with control B and I wanted to change this one into a bevel. I can do it with fuse, right? And you got different options, like for example, you can press W to change width, you can press T to change the uh, tension, or you can press R to rotate it, which is kind of cool, right? Next one is going to be changed width, all right? So let's say that I have a chamfer here, right? And I have a chamfer here. And I wanted to change width of this chamfer, right? You know, normally I would need to play with some. Uh, verts etc but mesh machine makes it really easy and fun so you go to change width and I can change width of select edges so for example I can you know um, press R to rotate that right I can press T to taper it and uh, you got different options uh, to choose from so it's really cool and fun then we have flatten flatten is brilliant okay Let's say that I had this chamfer going on here, right? Let's just make it. Uh, let's make it a bit smaller, and I wanted to flatten, okay, this with this, which means I wanted to elevate this edge up, so it flattens with this surface, right? Manually it would be difficult to do, um, especially without you know changing the shape of this cube. 
But with Mesh Machine, you click this, shift click this one, Y, and flatten, and you're basically done. So it's really cool. And you can use it on multiple faces, okay? So now I'm going to show you a mirror, uh, because I want to symmetrize it to the left side. So I'll show you a symmetry with Mesh Machine, which is down here. Uh, when you press Alt X, you're going to have this gizmo, okay? And it's based view, meaning the way you orient it with your mouse, which I mean with your viewport is important. Okay, so if I want to symmetrize from right to left, I have to be kind of oriented more or less, you know, towards this face, right? So Alt X, and if you move your mouse, okay, you can see there's like a square dancing. It shows you which way you will be symmetrizing to. So in our case, I want to symmetrize to the left. So when you're going to keep moving your mouse to the left, after you press Alt X, eventually it's going to symmetrize it. Now you can do it very quickly by simply, you know, pressing Alt X and moving your mouse, and boom, that's symmetrized. So now let's go back to our flatten, select this face, shift select this face, select one of these, Y, and flatten, and boom, Bob Jungle, okay? Then you got some rogue edges here, but you know, it's easy to remove it. You can symmetrize it to the right side, press 3 with machine tools, and clean. Done. Cool. Next one, unfuse. Well, um, you know, let's just remove this edge here in the middle, dissolve edges. Let's select these, right, with control. And now, this is fused, but I can unfuse it, and it's going to go back to a chamfer. If I want to remove this completely, I want to go to unbevel. And here, if I want to remove that, I'm going to go to unchamfer, okay? Next one is unfuck, and this one is really cool for two reasons. One of them is name, because it's fucking cool. And here I'm going to make a small, like a really tiny, tight bevel, right? Cool. So if I wanted to, you know, inset this face like that, it's going to work, right? But if I'm going to go too deep, you'll see on the bottom, we're going to get a problem, right? The reason being is because this bevel is really tight and it overshoots on itself eventually, right? So in order to fix this, we can select this edge, right? Then control select the outcoming edge, and it's going to select all these edges here uh, that are run through the bevel. And then you press Y, unfuck, and you simply move your mouse, and that's it, you're done, okay? And you can then scroll your uh, wheel to include more areas into your, you know, into equation, okay? Uh, so you can, you know, either uh, adjust this bit or both, right? So let's say I wanted to adjust both. I'm going to click, symmetrize it, remove the middle. I'm done. See what I mean? So very quick, you know, this is really quick. Okay, so that's that. And what else we have here? Turn corner and quad corner right. So now uh, let's actually symmetrize it into a cube and let's remove this one. And we're going to select everything in control B. Okay, scroll down to a chamfer. Now, if I wanted to fuse the top, I wanted to run a bevel here on the top, I can't do that because Mesh Machine needs quads to run fuse. You see, you will simply uh, have an error. Now, the problem here is this triangle, which we need to turn into a quad. You could do it manually by knifing, you know, the edges, etc. But who wanna fuck with this, right? It's 2022 after all. So we're gonna grab this triangle and we're gonna press Y. And we're going to click on quad corner and this will change your corner from triangle to quad. Then you can rotate your mouse and change the direction of the flow. Um, so let's say we wanted to have the flow being directed on the top. So, you know, this way. So when I alt click here, it's going to be, you know, going around here, around this area. And if I wanted to fuse it now, I can. So let's now symmetrize it here and here so we got quads everywhere i'm going to alt click this i'm going to press y and i'm going to fuse it right and now it's going to work see what i mean so that's what's quad corner for turn corner is basically you know when you want to turn this thing around okay so you know when you want to change the flow basically next one is loops all right this one is easy now let's say i wanted to run a fuse here okay and you know i'm going to run a fuse and everything is peachy uh, by the way, with Fuse, you can press F to add or remove these faces, these caps here, uh, these ones on a, on the end. Okay, so you got this, and everything is fine, you see that the line is straight, okay, here, this loop. But if this was, 
you know, slightly misaligned like that, and you're going to run fuse through it, okay, you'll see that the line's going to be a bit squiggly, right? So what you can do, you can mark this one, okay? So here, you can go to uh, loops and mark loop, which will then fix the problem, because when you run fuse, you see that this edge now here, uh, you know, this one, is straight, right? Awesome, let's keep going. Now, boolean cleanup and chamfer and offset, stash it and view stash it, conform and normals. These are actually kind of together. So I'm going to show you this on an example, okay? It's going to be a bit more complicated, so bear with me. I'm going to grab a quad sphere, which is from Machine Tools. It's just a cube changed into a, into a sphere by modifiers. Now, before we do anything, we want to stash normal information. Stash all the normal information on these faces. Now, you can do it with the whole item uh, object, or you can do selectively with, you know, a few faces, right? I want to select the whole thing, so I'm just going to select an object, press Y, and stash it. And you'll see the object was stashed. You can actually go here and view stashes, okay? Now, I'm going to, to cut it with box cutter, so I'm going to cut it like this, right? And extend it up, press J, shift click to shift it to life. And now what I need to do is stash the boolean with the object I'm cutting. So select the boolean, shift, select the object, press Y, and stash it. Okay, then shift 2 to remove the cutter, click on the ball, and then we're going to go with smart apply. So now this is one mesh, okay. Now to clean this up is going to be an absolute bitch, right. But we got stuff like boolean cleanup with machine tools, we got select, as well so we're gonna talk about all these options here um, select's gonna be included because it's quite important as well so now first let's talk about selection because it's important normally in blender if I wanted to select you know this loop around this um, cylinder it's impossible because there are angles and triangles everywhere however with default settings for selection we're gonna use the L select option so you can either click on an edge and then go here and click on L select which will select the loop around or you could simply uh, click here right and then alt click is gonna do the same thing as a shortcut okay and with this selected what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Y and we're gonna do boolean cleanup now you're gonna see dots red dots are bad green dots are good if you go into scroll your mouse, you'll see that side A and B is going to pop. These are different modes of this tool, okay? Different ways of cleaning. And basically what it means is that either it's going to pull the uh, the edges on the cutter or we're going to pull the edges on the object you're cutting. In this case, it's better when we're going to pull the edges on the sphere because if you're going to do it with the cutter, we're going to change the uh, shape of it and the shading. We don't want to do that. So we want to do this. So you want to move your mouse until all the red dots disappear, right? Right, and then you click and you cleaned. Okay, all edges are connected, peachy, right? Then with this selected, what we're gonna do, we have to, we can do two things. Okay, we can either go with a chamfer or an offset. Chamfer is gonna create a chamfer, and by scrolling your mouse, you can select which edge you want to adjust, right? And when you hold Control and scroll, you can change the method of you know creating this chamfer and how it connects to the mesh then when you release control you can hold alt and you know scroll your mouse and you can adjust the area of reach basically how far you want to reach with the for example rebuild or replace right you see different methods here so that's one method okay another method is to create offset which is a flat uh, strip of quads running on the uh, cut mesh or on the cutter you can flip it with your mouse okay same here hold control and scroll and then you can hold alt and you can you know rebuild it further away from the mesh click when you're done okay cool now we get a problem because you can see that um, this edge here it's a bit wobbly right it's a bit wobbly we can fix that by selecting the edge pressing y and going to conform Conform when you use the normal data information from the mesh or the cutter. We want the mesh and conform this edge to the shape of the sphere. You see now it's nice and flat. Don't worry about this edge. We're going to, you know, this one, we're going to be fixing it in a minute. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click this edge, right? And then alt click. Then we're going to bevel this like this. We're going to make a really thick bevel. Okay. Like that. 
then we're going to select this ring okay and we're going to press ctrl plus twice to select this area and we need to remove these two edges uh, these two loops because they are elevated okay they're not part of the sphere they actually elevated up and now we're going to replace the normal information of this sphere with the original one which will fix the shading right fix all the problems so watch why then you go to normals and transfer and you can choose now between the cutter or the sphere we want the sphere right so click and now the shading should be perfect so if you go to matcap and shading you can see that the shading is beautiful it's just you know it's just flawless right so this is the power of mesh machine that i don't know if another add-on can do and it's really superb in this kind of situations okay it's unbeatable basically in my opinion so this is why you want it in your life okay cool so now let's just turn it off and let's keep going then you have symmetrize which you covered select there's one more select which is called v select we're gonna talk about it now so let's just delete that and let's grab a different quad sphere okay now the other v select is linked more or less to plugs and plugs are accessible in object mode so with object selected press y and go to plug libraries you can create your own plugs but we're not going to be doing that we're going to be using uh, plugs from you know from uh, from default mesh machine but before we do that let's just simply uh, go here and stash the sphere and then we're going to go to plugs and you know add one of these let's say this one and we're going to scale it right just like what you do with decals then we're going to shift select this object we're going to press y and stash it so we're going to stash the information of the plug select the rim of it select the sphere with the shift and then we're going to plug it and this is going to plug it into its surface but you can see clearly that we got you know shading problems all over the place right so now watch we're going to uh, first select this edge here and we're going to bevel it okay like that then what I'm going to do right, is I need to select the affected area, so the area that was affected by the plug. Doing it manually is a bit of a bastard, but fortunately the vselect comes in. vselect stands for vert select, which stands for vertex group select. So the plug assigns all these vertices here that were altered to a vertex group. So if I click on one of these elements here and I'm going to go to vselect, it will select the vertex group that was assigned to this area uh, by the plug and then i'm going to go to normals and transfer and you know i'm going to choose the this sphere here right and my shading is back to flawless all right so i think this should cover it and let me see if i missed something oh yes the wedge right let's remove that and let's go back to a normal matcap let's grab a cube and here what we can do is you know uh, select an edge now which the which how it works you need to have an edge connected to two other edges right so like here for example and i'm going to select an edge and then you press y and go to wedge and then when you hover your mouse you can actually uh, determine which face you want this uh, wedge to run on uh, let's say we want it here so you click and hold your mouse button and you go either in or out okay it goes both ways and then you release and you got a wedge okay and then you can keep going you know uh, with it so wedge and you know here hold and boom right then you can symmetrize it and you can start having fun now i'll show you one more tool as a bonus which is from machine tools and i think it's called let me see that i always forget the you know which tool does what let me see that i think it's smart vert it's EA yeah, smart vert so watch this if i want to move this uh this one a little bit to the right all i need to do is select that shift alt one and i can move it like oh, this it's, you know mirror here mirror there and i got cool shape in two seconds all right alt click on sharpen with weighted normals and you know this is how you use hard ops and mesh machine in conjunction with one another okay you know it's just a lot of fun like i said hard ups and box header are my core add-ons so if you would like to learn more about them we have a fantastic course called ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter a link in the description grab it it's fantastic 
uh, we don't have a dedicated course for machine tools or mesh machine but we using machine tools in at least i'm using it in every single video of mine mesh machine is a bit more rare because uh, it has its specific uses and applications but you know it's always in my loadout and i bloody love this add-on so you know give it a bash thanks so much for watching see you in the next one